You may have just gotten yourself a fancy new iPhone and want to transfer your old data onto the new phone. There is a really quick and easy way that Apple has set up for you to do that. So hopefully this video can kind of show you how that's done. Here I've got a 13 Pro Max on the left and a 12 Pro Max on the right. I'll be moving from the 12 Pro Max here to 13 Pro Max. But it doesn't have to be these two exact phones. You can have whatever iPhone you'll be coming to as long as you have iOS 11 or later installed on your existing phone. When you turn on your new phone, it will give you an option to select your language and country and region. What's going to be important here is that it's going to give you an option to quick start, which is what you want. So if it asks you to bring your old phone closer, and as you can see, the old phone recognizes that there's a new phone next to it that you're trying to set up. And then you bring the new iPhone up to the camera of the old phone. Once that's done, it takes a little while to kick in, but you wait for a bit here. To make sure you didn't just pick up any old phone and try to transfer the data across to a new phone, you're meant to give the passcode of the old phone onto your new phone. So once that's done, it takes a little bit to again kick in. And then you set up your face ID as if it's a fully new phone. Face ID obviously doesn't transfer across from the old phone to the new phone. Just press continue to bring all your data across. What's really good about this process is that you don't have to input a lot of passwords through this process, including setting up your Apple ID. Um, already knows you just have to accept the terms and conditions here. So this screen lets you know that if you press continue, your apps and data, including your login credentials, will come over as well as the settings. And what's really good here is that you can see that the Apple Watch will also be connected for you. If you have Apple Pay on your old phone, it does transfer across, but you do need to reactivate it for security reasons. Once you've set your Apple Pay, you can set up your Siri. And from here, all that's really left to do is to wait for the data to transfer from your old phone to the new phone. You'll see once the transfer is complete, but what's really neat about this process, and I've mentioned this earlier, is that the apps remember your credentials as if you just picked up your old phone. Having said that, this is not all of the apps, but the apps that work tend to already be signed in. When it's done, your old phone will let you know that the transfer is complete. Hopefully this video was helpful in giving you an overview of what the process will look like when you try. I'll be super interested to know whether you use this process for your um, upgrade or if you intend to use it. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please click like. That really helps out this video and the channel. And if you could consider subscribing as well, that would be fantastic. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.